calling it. It's giving the apple, uh, apple crisp oat milk shaking espresso from Starbucks. That's what it's giving. Um, and so I wanted to recreate that, especially when I found that uh, caramel apple crumble creamer. I was like, definitely got to make it. And then y'all already know I had the caramel apple Ghirardelli squares. And so, yeah, so that's what that's how this one came about. And you basically just make some espresso if you have an espresso machine or you can buy some espresso. Um, of course, y'all know I have one that's like one of my favorite things to use. And I put that um, apple caramel apple Ghirardelli square in there. To make an espresso shot but i also had this salted caramel coffee um that i had i think i got like last year sometime and i was like oh, i can make that and then just add an espresso shot to it so that's what i did just to add in more caramel and then of course i used the apples uh, just try to make it really really cute so like i said i used the salted caramel coffee as well as an espresso shot with the uh, ghirardelli chocolate in there then i added some caramel as well as the cinnamon vanilla syrup and then that caramel apple crumble oat milk creamer y'all it's so good it's expensive <laughs> definitely expensive because that's a small bottle but it's really really good so i'm glad i found it i got it at target in case you're wondering but yeah so i went ahead and added that to it gave everything a stir and then of course y'all know i like to try to make my drinks a little bit cute and child i just need y'all to keep watching i attempted to make this thing a few times but it ended up turning out cute in the end. But yeah. So I used the maple vanilla um, whipped cream that I got from Target. And then some caramel. Try to put the apples in there real cute. And um, yeah, it wasn't working. By the time I was trying to get the second one in and drizzle some caramel, they were sinking. And the cup was overflowing. <laughs> so had to drink some of the coffee uh, to try to get it going. So then attempt number two, I was like, okay, cool. I'm just going to go ahead and get one of those little skewers, break it in half, add the apples to that, and, you know, that's going to definitely work. Yeah, mm -mm, I was wrong too <laughs> because I measured the skewer too uh, short. So it started sinking as well. <laughs> Had a drizzle of caramel on the apple, trying to make it look cute, you know. And, yeah, as you can see, that started sinking too. <laughs> so then I redid it, took it out, added another skewer um, that was a little bit taller, which was attempt number three. Um, and then I um, added some more whipped cream to it after I drank from the coffee down. And then I just situated the apples a little bit differently. And then I thought to add the little um, Lindor white chocolate to it. And I was like, oh, that'd be cute. So that's how the drink turned out. But y'all, this one was really, really good. Like, I would definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. <laughs> and then the next one, y'all know we couldn't do fall drinks without doing a pumpkin spice latte. I mean, come on now. So, I um, used espresso again. Um, but then I had that pumpkin spice creamer. I had the Ghirardelli white chocolate uh, coffee syrup and the caramel. Um, and the one thing I did forget, y'all, which was crazy, I thought about it after the fact... I have a whole pumpkin syrup, pumpkin spice syrup right there and forgot to add it. So if you're going to recreate this, definitely add the pumpkin spice syrup if you have it because th that was the main point of me even doing this, y'all. And I forgot. But I have made it again since with the pumpkin spice syrup and it was good. So I just um, steamed my creamer. And then, of course, just to make it cute, I added some caramel and also the white chocolate to the glass and added some ice to it. And then I just did an espresso shot. I did a double shot of espresso. Um, but you can use, I would say you can use regular coffee. It wouldn't be considered a latte. But if you don't have an espresso machine, you can just have you a pumpkin spice iced coffee. Period. <laughs> so that's how um, you do it. Just add in the cream. And then I added in um, the caramel and whipped cream. And then I use cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice on top. Just to add in a little bit more pumpkin flavor but yeah that is your pumpkin spice latte and this one was really good definitely a fall favorite and then the last one was a s'mores latte i happened to see this online and i was like oh because i was trying to find another type of drink to make and i saw this and i was like yes like it was a, I, the one i saw was like an alcoholic beverage and i was like oh i can make this as a latte so of course i had to go to the store get some graham crackers um 
which were really, really good. Me and Bud killed the, the whole box in a couple of days. But I used the graham crackers and I crumbled them up just so I could put it around the rim of the glass. I decided to use a wine glass uh, for this one. And I had some of that marshmallow fluff left over and I was like, that's perfect. So I put some of that um, to the side and I used that to um, line the rim of the glass. And then I also so that the um, graham crackers can stick to it. And it turned out really cute. I was I was proud of myself. I think if we did have like a fall gathering or something, I would make these again because they were really, really cute. <laughs> And then um, I made an espresso shot, but I wanted to add in some white chocolate to it. So I used the um, Ghirardelli white chocolate coffee syrup again. And then I also added in uh, some chocolate, which was like a little mini Hershey kiss. Now I will say with this s'mores drink, it was really good, but it was a lot of chocolate. Um, I'm not really like a mocha girl. Y'all know if you follow me for a while, you know I always do white chocolate um, mochas or whatever when I go to Starbucks or any place. Uh, I'm not really a mocha girl, and so the chocolate gave it a mocha flavor, which is what it's supposed to give. So it was good, but I think the next time I make this, I'm going to use white chocolate squares um, just to see how it turns out. But I think it'll be really, really good, which I might make that this week. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only thing that I would change. But overall, this one was really good, and it was definitely really, really cute. And it's my first time making one, so I was proud of that. So yeah, I just used uh, some creamer. I used the caramel macchiato creamer. Um, and then the espresso shot with the chocolate in there. And then I decided that it would be cute to toast some marshmallows and put marshmallows on there. Well, I didn't want to pull out the whole little uh, s'mores kit. So I just used a little candle lighter. <laughs> and that's how I toasted my marshmallows. So don't judge me, but it turned out cute. Now, the first time I was like, mm -mm, I'm about to burn this up. <laughs> Y'all can see it look a little ashy and dusty on that side. But once I did it again on the other side, that was a cute little cute little toast I think but yeah this one came out really good y'all so if you want to see more fall drinks let me know if you have some recommendations let me know because y'all know I love some coffee and I love making all types of coffee drinks so if you have some recommendations definitely let me know but yeah this one I thought turned out really really cute but y'all let me know if y'all enjoyed this video um I'm going to do some talking at the end of the video but I'm going to go ahead and end the voice over but yeah this was really really cute I can't say it enough very very cute but yeah, y'all let me know which one was y'all's favorite and I'll let y'all know which one was my favorite in the comments. But definitely keep on watching to hear what I had to say about them. <laughs>